the curve. Okay, so I'm walking. Here he comes. I'm getting my steps in. We were just entertained with some banjo music. If I can figure it out, I'll add it. Bought some adorable vintage cards, a quilt top. There he is. Want me to uh, give you a ride, ma'am? My finger's in front of it. You know it's 10 o'clock and we're still in Granger, right? Yeah, we've only made it one. Really two towns and not really not even two towns because when we basically live in. So here we go. All right, let's see what we can find. Oh my gosh, you do look good in there. I know. <laughs> I know. I knew it right out of the gates. <laughs> oh, what else you got? Wait, really, where are you going to have that at? I like that. It's a Stetson too. <laughs> Ooh, that looks that's a, like a 10 gallon hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's more. That's nice. All right, I gotta turn this around. I'm on the wrong side. No, maybe not. Oh my goodness. Very funny. Gosh, that's cute. What time did we start? Uh, we left the house just before 8 with a goal of 7 for And we are how many miles into our journey approximately? We're at best guess about 15 to 20. <laughs> Oh, we are in a we are headed towards a town called Woodward, which uh, is best, in my opinion, known for uh, picket fence farms. Who has the best chocolate milk, according to Landon, ever? Oh, yeah. They have amazing ice cream too. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm assuming so. Yeah, so we have to make it to Denison, Iowa, which is we're staying at the historic Park Hotel in the. It's a wonderful it's life suite. Yes. That should be fun. How far away is that? Uh, if we just drove straight, it's probably about an hour and a half. <laughs> we might get there by six to eight. It's it's noon already. So um, we'll see how we do. My goal is that we're somewhere by six. So this is like the closest to flea market that I've been in a long time, in the state of Iowa. Five miles into our journey and it is 220 that would be six hours and we have I think past. 70 or no probably 60 miles to go to get to our destination which is the Park Hotel in Denison Iowa which I can't wait to tell you all the history about that Dave mm -hmm. and we're coming into this tiny little town called Dawson 
not the creek. And we're gonna check it out. These are always the fun little towns, but how, that's I think this is the whole town right here. So let's see what we find. Ooh, that looks like a good one. Look at that, Ooh, lots of people there. <laughs> It's our first stop in Dawson, and I'm trying out my new equipment. Let's see if I can zoom in on Dave. This is really what takes us so long, these long combos. Ah, let's see what we can find. Okay, this is what happens. Babe, this is a pretty complex. So, if you don't know who this is, apparently his name is Johnny West. So, his hand will hold these guns. You can put the knife in the left hand and the gun in the right hand. Not joking. Dave just got these at a church garage sale <laughs> from the nicest ladies ever. And they, she really had a cool history about all of her stuff. And I bought lots of paper. Look at this. And we got, we have connected so we can stay in touch. But, uh... I don't know. I he we might not. We might just sit in the parking lot while he plays with Johnny and all. Hundred percent sending this picture to Alan. There's his bedroll. So apparently, each of his he and his brothers all have a horse to match. Yeah, and we all somehow lost parts of all of them. Do you feel like you're five again, or however old you were? Somewhere around there. I'm gonna put on his bandana. <laughs> Still got the snap. <laughs> How cool is this guy? I feel like I need to find you a horse. Okay, we don't... We have him at home. Alan's got him. Man, them. these are big guns. Thank you. Not those guns. Can you snap this? On, I want to put his thing on. His, uh... Well, I'm going to have to stop. ...hand and the separate index finger. Oh, he actually has boots. So we need the boots and the chaps. Cause they're... He's got boots on. The, the, there's boots that go over it that match this. I'm not making it up. Look at that. All right. He's got his gold. Uh, do we want to put, let's have him carry the branding iron in the other hand, maybe? Uh, this when is, he's fully outfitted, it will be that. Missing the chaps. Other than that, we're 100% Johnny. And we have the gold with the bags in it. And we have his canteen. Okay. So as soon as we reunite him with his horses. And his chaps and what else did you, boots? Uh, boots and chaps. Chaps, boots, um, half of a saddlebag we're missing. And then he just needs his horses. Boom. And his horses are in Northern, or uh, They're in Allen's. <laughs> your brothers. Yeah. Very cute. Oh Congratulations on your. So we have been training. going for. Eight hours. It, yeah, we started at eight. It is now. 4.15. How many miles do you think we've gone? 60. You think that far? Yeah, I think it's like 90 in Denison, so... That's the longest 60 mile drive ever. Eight hours for 60 miles? I know, right? I would say so. He's so, the best husband in the world. Yeah, you're the best husband in the world. So, yeah. we have how many minutes to get to our next destination? 20. Which is, this is the longest it's been in between. I'm sure we're going to find things along the way. This band needs to kick it up. We got schedule. We're Some behind. of these are doing, we're behind. <laughs> Some of these, though, are going until, like, 7 o'clock at night. For the diehard yard sale road trippers that we are. If you can tell, we've, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't filled up the bed of the truck yet so that's fantastic well the only thing that's back there is the cart that i brought that i thought i would need that i said are you sure you want me to bring hey it's cool and it can off-road like in the sand if there happens to be sand because we're going to buy enough things oh it says coon rapids is right here that's like not 25 miles mm. white rock servants yeah that's like a and a golf course i don't know maybe our numbers were up i don't know what my what is my favorite? I don't know. Well, I did get like a perfect copy of from the same sale. That that was the lovely ladies at the church. Um, I got 150 really cool postcards. Old um, postcards. Some ice would be great. And then and vintage postcards. And then I got um, a 
50s dressing gown, which I don't know why I bought it. It was $2.50. It's cute. And then I got something else there that was really fabulous. Oh, the 1934 Chicago World's Fair, perfect condition. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it was just an overview of what was going on, but it's gorgeous. Um, and then I did get a score a bunch of patterns. There, I have two shoe boxes. Check this out. Don't you think I should make that for Dave? It could go along with that cowboy hat that he did not get, but when he looked lovely. For a dollar. So I've got all kinds of fun to do with these when we get home. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm waiting. He left the blinker on. Seriously, dude. Oh, here's the World's Fair one. 1934. It's almost so perfect, I don't want to touch it. Like, it's gorgeous. And then it's got everything, pictures of everything. The pages are really heavy. I don't, this may just go in my treasures and I'll just keep it forever. So there was that. And, oh, I bought all of these totes for $2.00 so that I would have things to organize and pack the back. And as you can see, uh, my Sherpa has managed to just pile them back there. So no rhyme or reason, but you can be sure that I, my ocd -ness will kick in and I will be organizing when we get to the motel. And it's a motel, not a hotel. I stand corrected. Oh, and here's two key things for all of you junk journalers. Look at this vintage adorableness and it's actually a photo album but if I want to use it for a cover of a junk journal this just pulls out and then I can repurpose all of these pages or maybe I can just incorporate them I don't know yet and then I just thought this was cute because it was 25 cents and I thought this would be a perfect junk journal envelope yes we're going total 70s on that. What else did I got? I can't... Uh, I got lots of, lots of books. I've been... I got lots and lots of books. The Little Pony. This Animal ABC. I met a really sweet man at... Uh, look at that. The walrus. Dorbs. And... is like a mountain mountain or well, modern myth who's chewing 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 um the kuna i'm assuming this is a llama but help me out here they got really really desperate when they got to d apparently but the illustrations in here are so cute um and i think i paid i think i paid a quarter for all of the kids books Red Riding Hood, Nursery Songs, Bambi without a cover. Maybe, oh, Bambi's cover might be here. Welcome back. Are you still welcome? Yes, I am. Here's your ice. Thank you, sir. So, we are going to stop at a big sale. I have done a few little Starting while we're at the, the sales videotaping. I'm getting a little more comfortable with that. Are you on round two of potatoes? No, these are cheese curds. Oh boy. Yeah. Lucky you. Can so, turn them down. we will be back with more treasures. It was either cheese curds or the most incredible hamburger. Mm. And I thought we might eat dinner later. So. These churches have the best food. I don't know why you're not eating there, but... Whatever. You can't go wrong with the Spartans. We've got our haul. Day one. It's like 10 o'clock at night, isn't it? Yes. And I, I, yeah, I'm weird. I have to 
make a display. It's kind of like weird. staging a house. 100% weird. Okay, what do we got? We'll start on this side and just work our way across. Okay. We have a $1 football. <laughs> yes, that was a great bargain. It's blown up and we had to have some fun with that. <clears throat> we did play a little bit of catch. Let's not let out Mark Schrod's clothesline bin. It actually has... Watch out, don't... The, don't... There's... Okay, no, it's empty, but there's actually clothes in there. It came in so there. It'll be stinky like potpourri. I can't see over there. I don't know what those Oh, are. these are Holiday on Ice 1961 and can fly... Oh, yeah, so... Yes, I had that book my grandma gave me and I had it in my gardening tote and it got wet. And so I got that one for a quarter. Happy. Should we share where this is going? Oh yes, you can share where that's going. That was one of your purchases. You can undo that. A whole $8 and it is a Coleman lantern never used that will be in our sweat lodge. It does not have electricity. So now we can actually see what we're doing yes. down there. Maybe let it fire. Dave got a new sexy bag, leather bag, satchel mm -hmm. for his overnight Indiana trips. Jones Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Okay. Well, Indiana you can wear the hat. Satchel. We didn't buy you the hat today. I know. We were close. So I m missed that I got the, you wanted me to talk about the chalkware. Oh, yeah. So those I will probably resell, although they're super cute. I got those two. And Can then, you explain to everybody what chalkware is? Because I actually don't. So it's kind of like ceramic. Like, if you look at the bottom of it. Oh, it's just a thing. And I don't know what happened because this stopped all of a sudden. But So do you put them in your garden? Or do you... No, they were they were like just a tchotchke that you would put on a shelf. Hmm. Okay. Well, I had a friend, Mary, that uh, I worked with. And she used to collect chalk dogs. She had lots of them. Let's, um, let's get to the most important thing. Okay. Well, see, I don't know what happened, but... We kind of bleeped out. It stopped. But the little stamps that are metal that they made rubber stamps out of. You got a whole boat ton of stamps. Oh, yeah. I like did buy some stamps that I can use for junk journaling. Some vintage and cards. cards. Oh, and then this wonderful set of books. There's two different sets. Oh, yeah. That was a... That was the deal of the century, and it's so cute. Okay, so the most important thing we got today. Yes, the most important thing. Please, please do tell. I'm sure all of these uh, people that do arts and crafts will be very excited. Do you want to pick him up? Dun, dun, dun. What's his name? Johnny West. And he came with all the parts. <laughs> Blanket. Poncho. Kerchief, <laughs> knife, he has the pistol, holster with the pistol, he has his gold load, the rifle, or pointer, the brand, and his canteen. Oh, and what's that thing on his back, his uh, bedroll? I said that. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. His, his camp blanket. Yes. Um, D Dave was a, that also was from the church. Yeah, same church that we don't remember. Methodist somewhere, but in the basement, and it was nice and cool and beautiful. And Look at that cute tin, and also that which you can. Toilet. So that's just a little recap of day one. Fun Good times. Time. Thanks for uh, being my Sherpa and <laughs> helping me. <laughs> Thanks for we love you. Me along. Yes. Love you.